Hello my guys and welcome to another episode. In this episode we have a little pro review from Cartridge Home. Heads up display for any 2019 to 2021 Toyota RAV4. Heads up display right here. We're gonna put it where the speaker cover goes on the driver's side. You're gonna have all the tools, the wires to connect it. So let's take it to the car. I'm gonna show you the installation. First thing, you need to remove the cover. Then you need to remove the two bolts to remove the speaker and bring the cable down all the way down. Then we need to remove the two screws right here behind the steering wheel. Remove this part right here and the little cover on the bottom. Those two bolts are 10 millimeter. Just move the speaker out of the way. You don't have to disconnect it. Right here on the bottom, you have one screw right here. The other screw is down here on the corner. Once you remove those two screws, you're gonna have another plastic one in here. Remove that one, remove this part, just pull on it. And pull on this cover. Once you remove those, you're gonna have another 10 millimeter right here. Remove that one. Once you remove that 10 millimeter, you have another screw right here. Remove this one too. Now that you remove all those screws, just pull on this part. You don't have to remove it all the way, like that is fine. Now you can remove this bottom part. You have that part out of the way, and this one, this one too. Now that you remove this part and the bottom one, you can remove the bottom cover on the steering wheel. One screw right here, then move your steering wheel. You will have one screw on this side and one screw on the other side. That's one screw, the other one is going to be on the other side as well. If you have the two screws on top and the one on the bottom, you can just pull on the bottom cover. Put your tool right here on this side, same on the other side, right here. And you're going to have this part free. The connection that we're gonna use is on the steering column. It's gonna be this white connector. Unplug that one. You're gonna have a little opening on this side, on the left side, on your cable through. Once you put it through, you're gonna be able to see it around this area. Or you can grab a piece of cable uh, put it on, attach the cable to it and just pull on it. If you can see right here, I didn't have to put anything to pull the cable through. So the cable is right here. We're just gonna put it all the way there and make our connections with the other cable provided with this unit. This is the other cable. This one is gonna be connected to the stack connector. This one is going to be connected to the stack wire. This 
this is the fuse and this little cable is going to be connected to the cable from the unit I heard a beep so everything is connected right now we want to grab some zip tight and make a loop in here on this cable and hide everything under the column right here we have a zip tight and all our cables are down here Everything is being connected. Now we just need to close everything. Everything is in place. Now we just need to put the heads up display. You can see the cable is right there. And we have a little problem because we have the JBL tweeters. This is not gonna work with the JBL. So we need to go back to stack on this side, unfortunately. So we probably gonna have to replace both, but for now, we're just gonna put the original one on this side. Okay guys, so I checked with Cartoon Home. This part right here is optional, uh, because not even with the stack, a speaker is gonna fit. So this one has glue, you can just remove it, because it's not gonna fit. But it's only glue. You remove it now it's flat and we can keep our JBL tweeters JBLs in place yeah it's a lot better so it works fine but you have to remove that part the bottom plastic part okay so now it's working is on kilometers right now we want to try to change it to miles that is miles that's the temperature 15.5 that's gonna be the battery I believe and that's gonna be the fuel consumption Also, in the package, you're gonna have two little screens, like if you wanna put a little screen right here. We wanna drive first like that. If we like it and it looks fine, we're just gonna keep it like that. But later on, if we need to, we can put this little screen right here so you can see it a lot better. We'll see. First impressions, works fine. Let's see if you match the speed right here on the dash. It says 14, 20, 21. I think it works fine, 25 right now, 27. It might be a little bit of delay on the new heads up display, but I think it works fine. And probably, we don't have to put the little screen, but it has these two stickers right here from, from Toyota. We might have to really work on that and put the screen on it. You can see the RPM and the miles per hour. Now let's change it. It says 78 degrees. I believe that's the engine, not the temperature outside because outside is 47 right now. Now let's change it again. 14.3 volts, that's the battery. And that's the fuel consumption. I think it's more accurate on the fuel consumption because on this one, uh, not so much. It doesn't tell you much about how much you're using. That will be uh, gallons per mile, I believe. Yeah, works really good. Okay, on the fuel consumption is gonna be liters per hour. So that's gonna be the only difference. And I don't think we're gonna be using that, uh, to be honest. It's not something that I really focus on. Right there, it has plus and minus and okay in the middle. 
so with the minus you go down and you can remove the RPM or put it back on with the plus you can change from battery to miles kilometers uh, fuel consumption and off so let's leave it on miles probably we don't need to put the film I think it looks pretty good I mean on camera you're not gonna be able to see it uh, really well but for me it is good we don't need to put that little screen on top of the windshield okay guys so there you have it link is gonna be in the description for this heads up display for any 2019 to 2021 Toyota RAV4 I hope you like this episode guys if you have any questions please comment down below I'm gonna be happy to help thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one peace mm.